today's episode of The Daily Blend. I am your host, AC. And did you know that there is a huge garage sale that happens every year in Columbia to support Habitat for Humanity? Well, if you didn't, here to tell us more about that are John and Linda Pullman from Broadway Christian Church. How are you? Doing We're well. doing fine. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so tell me about this garage sale. I know it's been going on quite a long time. Well, it's 34th annual. Well, it's not annual because COVID kind of interrupted yes. it. But it uh, continues to grow each year. And, uh, you know, we we uh, hope to raise maybe $30,000 for Habitat for Humanity, our local chapter. That's quite a lot of money from a garage sale. Tell me how in the world you make that happen. Um, well, it takes lots of volunteers mm -hmm. and uh, Dixie Fisher is our volunteer coordinator and we send out as many um, ways to reach out to the community because it's no longer a church activity, it's a community activity. Absolutely. And relatives put it on their calendars, workers put it on their calendar, they come in from, I have somebody coming from Indiana, we have somebody coming from, um, I don't know, where else? There's several yeah. states represented that they, they come in from. Wow. So Certainly St. Louis and Kansas yeah, City. Kansas That's City. unbelievable. It's quite, I mean, it's quite a operation that right. you run there. Um, so when is the garage sale and Tomorrow. where is it? Okay. It's on, on April the 6th mm -hmm. at 2601 West Broadway mm -hmm. and uh, begins at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Runs till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, and I generally see the line. People are lined up starting at what time? I mean, it's, it's crazy. A re it's a religious event. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, it's, yeah. Quite, it's quite interesting to see because essentially the whole church, like almost every area, is turned into, it's almost like a department store. Pretty much because we have our books in one section, electronics. We have the clothing, jewelry, um, all the accessories. We have a children's area. We have toys. We have furniture. We have sporting goods, Christmas, mm -hmm. lamp section. I'm just going down, you know, and mm -hmm. then within that, the CLC, we have uh, like the, the mug area and the, yeah. the basket area and the linen area. And, uh, and we have a volunteer that, you know, pretty much coordinates the setting up of each of those areas. And then we have the outside. I, I used to say it's the men's area, but it's outside. <laughs> you know, it can be gardening. It can yes. be anything. That's, and, and so if somebody is listening and they say, oh, I have some things I'd like to donate, how does that part work? Come by tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll have people to unload it at the, at the church. Or, uh, you can contact Fran Day if, uh, if needed you know, for, for, pick for pickups. Oh, that's wonderful. You guys have it all covered. You have it all covered. And then the proceeds go to our local Habitat yes, for they Humanity. Yes, they do. I mean, how wonderful is that? We take out expenses, but they're usually very, very low. And so we're very proud of what we've been able to do. And how can somebody contact you if they wanted more information? They can use our number, which is 573-999-2675. Okay. That would be mine. Okay. So we can reach out to you, Linda. If we, want, if we have any questions or want to talk to you about some things that we have or anything concerning the garage sale, right. Linda's our person. <laughs> Exactly. That's <laughs> our person. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for what you do in this community. I appreciate it. Everybody appreciates it. And we hope to see everybody out at the Broadway Christian Church on April the 6th. 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 On April 6th. <laughs> Start line, Come at 7th so you can line up. Thank yeah. you guys yeah. for being here. Thank You're you. You're welcome. And here to talk to us today about an exciting new carnival that's happening at Olivet Christian Church is Pastor Natalie Dixon Crewell. How are you? Good, good. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So tell us about this new event you guys have coming up. Um, so this is our 150th year of ministry. Wow. And so we are doing it in style. Um, every month we have a great event um, to help us celebrate who we have been and who we hope to be. And so in April, we are hosting a carnival for all of Columbia and basically anybody who wants to come. Oh so, my. Um, it is old fashioned, low tech, um, think, you know, um, school, like fun nights that you might used to have in elementary school. So there'll be, you know, balloon darts and um, there's gonna be like ducks at a pond and ring toss and just all of that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of flair with a bouncy slide, of course, because yes. that always draws everybody yes. in. And um, we have a member bringing in their little um, mower powered train. So that will be there. And then there'll be some uh, games for the adults, yard games like, um, you know, cornhole and um, I know, ladder ball, things like that to keep the parents busy while the kids run around and lots of prizes, okay. lots and lots of prizes. And it's all free. 
Really? So they just come and show up and have a really fun morning. Um, it's from 10 to 1 on April the 20th. Okay. And um, it'll be in our church parking lot. Or if the weather is nasty, we'll have it inside. So yeah. we're really flexible. So just it's for anybody to come and have a really good time. And it's part of um, not only our 150th year, mm -hmm. but also we are in the midst of a, a vision time in mm. our church. And we are seeking to um, have better relationship with our neighbors. Those actually right next to us. We're just right down the road from Old, Old Hawthorne, mm -hmm. um, out east in Columbia. And um, we want to know everybody. So we want them to come and hang out and have fun. It sounds like a really fun time. We hope and so. And you guys are rain or shine because you can go inside yes. or outside. Yes. Okay. And food, I imagine. Yes. Um, we actually charter a Boy Scout troop. Oh. And so Troop 7 will be on the site with a very low cost carnival foods. Yeah. And then also um, we have welcomed the Glizness, which mm -hmm. is a new food truck in the area to come and join us as well. So they will also be there with um, some of their lower cost items. So um, I guess there is a cost if you want to eat that, but sure. otherwise everything else is free and um, there'll be prizes and there's, um, we have some grand prizes as well. We've gone to some local businesses and got some gifts from there to okay. um, pass out as well. So we're just really trying to um, celebrate, you know, community. Yes. And have a good time. Yes, absolutely. It sounds fantastic. And we're always looking for something family friendly right. to do on the weekend and somewhere where you can bring all the kids yeah. and take them and then they can, you know, run loose. Have absolutely. Not run loose. We have, we have, we have lots of space and lots of land, so there'll mm -hmm. be plenty of, of room to run. And um, there's just still some things to work out. We might, we're trying to get some um, animals of some kind maybe on the scene, but, you know, we'll see. We're not sure on that one, but, okay, you know, there is at least room to roam. There's room to roam. Yeah. I love it. Okay, give us the date again real quick. April the 20th, 10 to 1, anytime. Okay, and we can find information on your church website? Yes, allofatchristian.org. Allofatchristian.org. Okay, so hope to get the whole community out. Say hello to Pastor Natalie when you're out. Say, hey, I saw you on the Daily Blend with AC. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, of course.